so we've been talking a lot about water and how it's important to life on our planet. All right, is water important to people everywhere? Yes. Sport to people everywhere. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to pretend that we're a small country. All right, so this is going to be our sole water supply. All the water our country can use is right here in this picture. So we're going to have to decide and figure out how we're going to distribute this one supply of water between our few different demands. So demands just means that there are places that, that people need water for, for different types of things. All right. So one big demand that we have is agriculture. Right, according to the United Nations, two-thirds of the water that people use is used for agriculture, going to farms, and for food production. So we'll go ahead and get two-thirds of our water going to our agriculture. Now, so that's two-thirds. Does that leave us much water for anything else? No. All right. So what are some of the things that you think that people need water for? Drinking. Drinking. So people have to drink water. All right. Washing their clothes. Washing clothes. Takes a little bit more water. All right. So let's think of some things that happen uh, in our environment or things that people do that changes the demands for water. All right. Lillian, say in your, in your part of our country over here, what happens if, if you have a drought? So let's say we have a drought over here in your part of the country. Would you need more water or less water? More. We, you need more. All right, so what if, if you have uh, a big city and all the people start moving into the city, we have an increase in population, so with more people, you need more or less water? More. You need more. All right, now let's check out our water supply now. We've, we've met some of our demands. Is there much water left in there? No. No, it's really not much left in our supply. Now, water supply, based on rain and where you're getting the water from, will replenish, it, replenish itself, but that usually, usually happens more slowly than, than, the, than the demands. So that means we're using up water, and our supply is really not getting much larger. All right, so this leads to a problem that's called scarcity. And according to the United Nations, by 2025, that's only 19 years away, two-thirds of the people of our planet will have scarce supplies of water. All right, so that just shows us we have this limited supply, so we must do more to conserve our water. At the same time, meaning demands caused by nature, such as the drought, and by people, such as growth and population. 